What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. So, after we learn how to create a sprinkler design schedule, so this time around, so let's start our uh, designing for the fire protection system. So in this exercise, we're going to place host-based sprinklers in a ceiling plan view, hosted to the link architecture ceiling family. And then we are going to use this uh, sprinkler schedule that we have created last time as a design guide for sprinkler placement. So as we place the sprinklers, you will learn some various methods to quickly and precisely place sprinklers into our ceiling plan. Okay, so let's get started. So right now I'm on the level 2 FP planning. So this is where we are going to place it. Okay, and take note that I'm not going to place all the sprinklers in our whole building because it will take a lot of time. So we're, I'm just going to put somewhere here, the sprinklers, but you will get the idea on how to place it, okay? So we're going to place a host base sprinklers. So after we place the initial sprinklers, we are going to copy and array sprinklers referencing the intersection of the uh, ceiling grids. So this action aligns sprinklers so that the piping layout is more efficient. Okay, so let's do this. So let's go to the systems tab and then let's look for the sprinkler. Okay, so I will be using this one, sprinkler pendant semi-recessed hosted half-inch pendant. And then make sure that the placement here is place on face. Okay, because we're going to place that on our ceiling tile. So I'm going to select that one and let me just place it here. Okay, so let's say I'm just going to pick here. If you are more particular on the placement of your first sprinkler, you might want to place first your detail line as a guide, like for example, that one. And then modify, then go to systems. Let's select sprinkler, place on face. We're going to place that on that intersection so that you are sure that it's at the uh, middle or center of that tile. So let me just delete this one. And then you will notice here on our zone 2, as we place our sprinkler, it continues to update. Right? So take a look. I'm going to select this one. I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to use the alignment here. So let's say I'm going to place one here. So copy again. If you want to copy it multiple times, just check multiple option here. So let's select that one and then another. Three more. There you go. And then modify. Okay. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do here is let me s let me uncheck this one, select pinned elements, select links, and then the underlink so that I do not accidentally select the link. So I'm going to window this. So maybe I'm going to move that. How about I move it one tile? Is that balanced? No, it's not really balanced. But that's all right. So let me just undo that. Okay, so that's our initial sprinklers. Okay, and then again, you will notice that our schedule is now updated. Okay, so now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to continue placing the sprinklers by copying it. So let's select these three sprinklers. And then I'm going to copy that. Make sure that multiple is checked. And then if you're going to move that horizontal or vertical direction only or to constrain the move direction, just check the constraint here. It's like ortho in AutoCAD. So let's select constraint. And then after that, you just need to pick the base point of your sprinkler. Okay, so let's do that. So I'm going to pick this as the base point. And let's say I'm going to put one here. Or, yeah, so just put one there. And then I'm going to put another here. There you go. Okay, so I think that's enough for me. So I just select here, modify. 
There you go. And then you will notice that on our uh, Space 202, Space 203, and then Space 204. So it's now updated, right? Okay. So that is our hosted uh, family. So this time, we're going to place non-hosted sprinklers. Okay? So in this part of the exercise, we're going to place these non-hosted sprinklers. We are going to specify the vertical offset or the elevation of your sprinkler. And then we are going to use the array tool to copy our uh, sprinklers. Okay? So let's do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the floor plan here. So instead of the ceiling, so let me just right click, go to the project browser. And then let's look for the floor plan design. So level 2 fire protection plan design. So just double click that. And there you go. Okay. So I'm now going to place my non-hosted family. So let's say I'm going to start somewhere here. All right. So let's go to the systems tab. Sprinkler. Okay. And then for the properties, for the type of the sprinkler, I'm going to use here is sprinkler upright. Okay. So I'll just use this one from the type selector. Okay. And then... This is a non-hosted family. That's why you will notice here on the properties by default, the offset here is uh, zero. Okay, so that's why after you place your sprinkler or before you place the sprinkler, you can now change the offset height here. So let's say you forget. So that's all right. So just place your sprinkler. So just place it. And then after that, select here, modify. So you can still select that one and then you can change now the offset. Okay, so let's say, for example, I'm going to change this to 10 feet, space, 6 inches, then enter. And there you go. Okay, so that's now our uh, sprinkler. Okay, and then um, again, if you, are, if you really want to place that at the center or at the middle, <coughs> You can create a detail line. Okay, create a detail line like that. And then you can use that as a guide. So detail line. So there's your center. And then you can select that. Move. Okay, click. And then select that. There you go. There you go. So, so you get the idea. So that is... Uh, that is what you just need to do. And then after that, let's use the array tool. So let's say I'm going to select this one. And then the array tool is here. So array. And then I'm going to use linear array here. The group and associate is checked. So let's say the total number here is 11. So I'm going to make that 11. And then after that, I'm going to... Click the base point. So move the second. Move the second. So I'm going to pick the base point here. And then move here. Move your pointer to the right side. And then just type the distance that you want. Or let's say if you already have the total distance in mind. You can just use uh, move to last. And then you can pick the last point there. And then the Revit will create a series of your sprinklers between the first and then the last sprinklers. But let's say, for example, you do not know the total distance. So you can just use move to second and then type the total number here that you want and then move your pointer to the right and then just type the distance that you want from the first sprinkler to the second sprinkler. So let's say I want uh, 14 feet and six inches distance and then i'll just enter there you go that's a total of 11 so let me just select modify there so if i zoom out so there you go so there's now my sprinklers okay and then you will also notice that the schedule updates indicating that the design requirements for the corridor spaces have been uh, met okay 
So that's how you use your array. So let me just redo it again. So I'm going to undo. So I select this one. I select uh, array tool. I select linear, group and associate. Okay, so let's say 11. And what about the option last? So I'm going to select that one. Okay, and then I'm going to pick the base point. Then I'm going to pick the last sprinkler here. Let's say that's the last sprinkler somewhere here. So I'm going to pick that. There you go. And then the Revit will divide that equally to make it a total of 11. Then just click outside. So that's the two, uh, two ways of using your linear array. One is move to second. The other one is move to last. If you know the distance of the first and then the second sprinkler, so you can use move to second. Okay? And then if you know the total distance of the first sprinkler to the last sprinkler, so you can use move to last. Alright? So basically, that's how you place your sprinklers. Okay? So on our next video, we are going to create a piping system. Okay, so in this exercise, we have placed uh, two types of sprinklers using various placement methods. So in the next exercise, we're going to connect the sprinklers by creating a system and with piping. Okay, so if you want to check that out in 3D view, you will not be able to see that clearly because that one is too small. But let's have a look. So there's your sprinkler, right? Okay, so there's your sprinkler, and then there's your sprinkler there. Pendant type. Okay, there you go. So, thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.